Assalamu alaikum dear students you are watching MLT MCQs I am Kamran today MCQs will be from tumor markers and we will talk about 16 very important MCQs so let's start the MCQs our MCQ number one is the CA125 test can differentiate between benign and malignant tumors is this true or false and the right answer for this mcq is option number two false this is false because ca125 is not always concerned about benign and malignant tumors ca125 is uh, also increased in some inflammations and some benign conditions also MCQ number 2 is a patient who has a normal PSA level is free from prostate cancer. Is this true or false? PSA is also called prostate specific antigen. So a patient who has a normal PSA level is free from prostate cancer. So is that true or false? And the right answer for this MCQ is option number two. This is false because prostate specific antigen also increased in prostatitis. MCQ number three is why would the prostate specific antigen density PSAD test be ordered? Why would the prostate specific antigen density PSAD test be ordered. Options for this MCQ are to diagnose prostate cancer, to compare the PSA value to the prostate gland size, to confirm the magnetic resonance imaging MRI diagnosis of prostate cancer. None of the above and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 2 to compare the PSA value to the prostate gland size. So for this purpose, prostate specific antigen density test be ordered. MCQ number four is, give three reasons for administering the CEA test. Give three reasons for administering the CEA test. CEA is also called carcino embryonic antigen options for this mcq are screening for cancer assessing cancer treatment and identifying the location of the tumor for surgery screening for cancer assessing cancer treatment and for diagnosing cancer screening for cancer assessing cancer treatment and assessing for the success of surgery to remove the tumor none of the above and the right answer for this mcq is option number three screening for cancer assessing cancer treatment and assessing for the success of surgery to remove the tumor so for these three reasons the cea test is administered mcq number five is why is the carcinoembryonic antigen CEA test used to screen for cancer? Why is the carcinoembryonic antigen CEA test used to screen for cancer? Options for this MCQ are the CEA is normally present during fetal development and is terminated at birth. It is present if there is a tumor the CEA is excellent for diagnosing cancer. The CEA is used for early detection of cancer. None of the above. And the right answer for this MCQ is option number one. The CEA is normally present during fetal development and is terminated at birth. It is present if there is a tumor. So for this purpose, the carcinoembryonic antigen test is used to screen for cancer. MCQ number 6 is the cancer antigen 125 CA125 test is used to screen 
patients for ovarian cancer is this true or false the cancer antigen 125 ca125 test is used to screen patients for ovarian cancer so is this true or false and the right answer for this mcq is option number 2 this is false mcq number 7 is why should you tell a patient who has a positive cea test result what should you tell a patient who has a positive cea test result options for this mcq are a positive result will require further tests the patient will undergo chemotherapy the patient will undergo radiation treatments the patient will be admitted to the hospital and the right answer for this mcq is option number 1 a positive result will require further test mcq number 8 is a high level of cea can indicate a high level of cea can indicate options are peptic ulcer crohn's disease pancreatitis all of the above and the right answer for this mcq is option number 4 a high level of cea can indicate peptic ulcer crohn disease as well as pancreatitis mcq number 9 is a positive psa prostate specific antigen test means that the patient may have options for this mcq are prostate cancer head sexual activity an enlarged prostate gland all of the above so the right answer for this mcq is option number 4 a positive prostate specific antigen test means that the patient may have prostate cancer the patient may have had sexual activity the patient may have an enlarged prostate gland mcq number 10 is why is the prostate specific antigen test administered why is the prostate specific antigen test administered options for this mcq are a low level always indicates prostatitis a low level might indicate prostate cancer a high level might indicate an enlarged prostate gland none of the above and the right answer for this mcq is option number 3 a high level might indicate an enlarged prostate gland so for this purpose the prostate specific antigen test is administered dear students subscribe to our channel mlt mcqs in this channel mlt mcqs are given in all mlt subjects which will be very helpful in all your exams whether the exams are from your colleges from your universities or for foreign jobs so kindly do subscribe our channel mlt mcqs our mcq number 11 is cancer antigen 153 ca153 is a glycoprotein that has been found in b9 and malignant disease of the blank options for this mcq are eyes breast brain or intestine and the right answer for this mcq is option number 1 breast cancer antigen 153 is a glycoprotein that has been found in b9 and malignant disease of the breast mcq number 12 is normal range of ca153 is less than blank unit per milliliter and the options for this mcq are 60 85 30 101 and the right answer for this mcq is option number 3 normal range of ca153 is less than 30 unit per milliliter mcq number 14 is CA199 test is specially useful in the diagnosis of blank cancer. 
CA19-9 test is especially useful in the diagnosis of blank cancer. Options for this MCQ are spleen, pancreas, testicular or breast and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 2 pancreas. CA19-9 test is especially useful in the diagnosis of pancreatic or pancreas cancer. MCQ number 15 is normal range of CA19-9 is less than blank unit per ml. Normal range of CA19-9 is less than blank unit per milliliter. Options for this MCQ are 60, 37, 22 or 50. And the right answer for this MCQ is option number 2, 37. So the normal range of CA199 is less than 37 unit per milliliter. Our last MCQ is in neural tube defect, which of the following tumor marker is high? In neural tube defect, which of the following tumor marker is high? Options for this MCQ are CA125, CEA, CA153 or AFP and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 4. AFP is the tumor marker in neural tube defect which is high or increased in neural tube defect. Thank you so much dear students that's all for today if you found this video useful like this video and share with your friends take good care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.